What's up, EDG family? Kevin here. Today, I'm going to be bringing you another playthrough of the game Recklin Run by Renegade Game Studios. Uh, this will be the fourth uh, playthrough I believe I have on the channel. It's chapter four. Um, we'll be playing against Mutant Mod. And so I'll go ahead and get you down to the table and uh, we'll take a look at what we got going on. All right, so I got everything set up except for our usual setup envelope. We'll be playing against Mutant Mod. Um, this guy, I'm going to tell you right now, I might lose. Because this guy has got a pretty ridiculous uh, radiation uh, setup. But let's talk about, let's see what we got going on here. It says, the wars that plunge the world into the wastes that are the Reckland left more than a few lasting scars on a surface. One local example is the full moon crater, named for its size or shape, but for the fact that due to intense radiation saturation, the crater glows like the full moon each and every night. There is only one set of crazies that chose to live inside the crowns of the crater, Mutant Maud and her radicals. Um, with the emphasis on the rads. So when uh, Ronnie told you that the first components and the blueprints to what looked like a large-scale petrol filtration tank could only be found within the crater, you hated him for being right. Something that could, um, something like that could doable no or double no triple your mileage and make you into a reckless distance runner. It was worth the risk. It had to be. Okay, chapter setup. Envelope contents. We'll have mutant mod, uh, five special enemies, six radiation cards. Um, the setup will shuffle the radiation deck and place it face down nearby and then shuffle the five chapter four enemies into the enemy deck. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to tell you uh, this. Uh, I did do a test play through this and it can be a little brutal. Um... I took a ton of damage, and I don't really know a way around it, so we'll see what happens. But we got Mutant Mod, and uh, first thing we need to know is she can't be damaged if there are any other enemy cars in her section. Um, Mutant Mod's attack is activated upon any die roll. Um, you cannot place a die on Mutant Mod, so regardless of what we roll, it's just it's one uh, AoE attack to the sides. Not great. Um, also, we need to know that we'll have this uh, radiation deck. And they have, what, six different cards? Yep, six different cards. And at the start of, uh, at the end of, uh, start of the next run, you'll flip over one more radiation card than the previous. So turn one, we'll do one radiation card, two, three, and so on. But I do believe we'll shuffle it every time. Of each run phase, yeah, shuffle all. Okay, so we'll do that. We won't mess with this yet, but we will set this uh, set this over here. And then we got five enemies, and these guys are not fun. Uh, basically, all of them are going to do damage based on the dice roll. All of them have six health and a shield. So uh, that's not fun. Like I said, I uh, test play. I did. Uh, I took a lot of damage. I'm not gonna lie. It was a uh, it was a rough one. I did. Uh, I did survive, but my car was uh, a little worse for wear. Absolutely. Um. So uh, yeah, this being uh, my fourth playthrough, I, I do. I am enjoying this game. Uh, I didn't. That's like I said. This one's. Kind of brutal, um, mainly because I felt like you know we got a whole different like mechanic deck, but we're not really adding anything to help ourselves out here. Um, I think the biggest thing on this one is gonna be maybe our what we get for parts is gonna be uh, the most important thing that happens. I did, uh, I will say, regardless of uh, my questionable su shuffling skills at, at some points. Uh, I'm pretty sure I had like all of these bad guys like shuffled, shuffled uh like in the first couple turns I had like a brutal amount of roll of the dice and take damage. So hopefully that won't happen this time because that will suck. Um, let's grab uh, the top two for some scrap starting scrap. Uh, we did get rid of one of them, uh, the sick child. Um, so that that's beneficial and we got two threes so that's also uh. 
also good. We'll go ahead and set our uh, round marker to round one wreckage face. So we'll get six parts. I don't know if I shuffled these, so we'll shuffle these again. Because, I don't know. All right, we'll see if it helps me. But I do think getting some healing parts might be a good priority. Stuff that can repair damage. And we obviously have uh, like our lifeline. And we, if we don't have anything better, we could go ahead and spend the two, um, any two dice once per round using Miller's ability um, to do that. And we also have our reallocate, which I'm finding is super useful. But we'll see. One, two, three, four, five, six. I do think, I can't remember her name's ability say repair would be super useful in this one but we'll, we'll see what we got okay so the first one we have is um a one pair seeker bolt um if target has a red die on it take it and use it to activate one of your parts or repair that's a good for a six we got the peacemaker peacemaker is good it's pretty much a better twin blaster but you can't upgrade it and it has five health so we might consider that guy we got a flamethrower. I like this one. Flamethrower is good. Five health, uh, three of a kind though. Same as that, and uh, does one plus two area of effect damage. So getting it might be helpful. Uh, we got a doom sneezer, and then what else do we have? Uh, spinning blades. So I do think we're gonna probably try to go for um, some really good ones. I'm looking real quick. We won't start with anything on the front. And judging from uh, previous play experience, um, there is some cards that will basically not allow you to do as much damage to front ones, so we'll definitely keep that in mind. So I'll go ahead and roll this. Um, I also say on the wreckage phase for the um, for the boss die, there's no effect unless we roll a six. Um, so we will probably be pushing our luck pretty good. Um, so we did get a six. Another six, a four, a three, a one, and we do have three of a kind with some fours. So I might go ahead and do that and get that flamethrower. I'm just looking maybe where I want to put it. Um, probably back right corner. I'm just looking at what other parts we have. I love this recycler, by the way. This is another one. We might try to get both of these in play. Um, which we could almost do right now, but it's only going to leave us with three dice. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if we want to do that. It's three parts, though. I mean, we get the recycler in the back. Maybe we put the flamethrower in the top, the forward left, which isn't super useful off the get-go. I definitely would say this is probably the better corner, but we throw the recycler maybe here. Um, hopefully don't get a ton of area effect damage. Flamethrower, recycler, but what would we want to do for the pair? Seeker bolt, soaks five up. Just looking, um, I like that recycler though. The recycler is really, really sweet. It's a lot of threes in the back, though. And that might not be... Oh, no, we'll have the flamethrower. We won't have the peacemaker. Looking. Now, that's pretty solid, though. I'm going to tell you right now. we we'll probably end up putting this in the top left corner. Yeah, that's probably what we're going to do. Because uh, I don't know if we... We can't do a whole lot with AoE, but let's see what we can do here. Um, let's do this. Oh, we have another dice. We have another dice. What am I doing? All right. Well, we might be able to get four parts. Let's do uh, this guy first. Let's get this uh, flame, the flamethrower done. We have four of a kind, and we'll roll these guys. Oh my gosh, a six. Deal three damage to your core. That's not a good start. It's a really bad start, and I don't think there's anything we can do about that. So I know we we're trying to push our luck, but that was a bad start right there. Um. Ouch. Flamethrower is in play. Um, the next thing we'll do is we will add this recycler. Put it right in the back. We don't have to roll any dice. We will get rid of our scrap. It's unfortunate, but that's how it is. Um, and then let's see what we want to discard. Um, this guy can get him right now. And we just need one pair. 
to get him in play. Which I think is a good play. The Doom Sneezer is not the... We're not going to need the Peacemaker. We're going to discard the Peacemaker. Peacemaker is out. I'm just trying to figure out what we should re-roll. We have sixes. Um, it doesn't really matter. Let's just re-roll all three of these. That's pretty much exactly what I just rolled. But we could... I'm looking now. We want that Seeker Bolt. I don't know if we can get a pair. Hold up. If we take this and we get a better roll... Get rid of the spinning blades. Um, yeah, let's get rid of the spinning blades and let's re-roll these guys. We just need a high roll. We didn't get a high roll, but we got a pair. So that changes everything. Okay, so um, we'll have to use the one. We can put this into play. And now where do we want to get him? I think top, I think front left. Um, and I know we didn't get that, but I'm looking and... Put him over here. Yeah. That'll benefit us every time. And then we'll have to roll this one. Oh my gosh. Another three. Oh, dude, this might be a short playthrough. I've never. Uh, um, deal three damage to your core. Up to one damage less than your core strength. So you can never go up all the way up to it. But jeez. That's not good. That's a really bad roll. Um, but yeah, we'll put him in here. We have six on my core. We only have nine spots. Sometimes I don't take a lot of damage, but I'm telling you, some of these cards are really bad. So this might be the playthrough that, you know, I just have to restart it or something. I'm not going to probably push my luck too much more on these red dice, though. I'll tell you right now, that's a... Uh... We did get some good stuff, though. I will say, I feel like we're starting better than normal. So that will work. Let's uh, go to the run phase. We need six enemies. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and six. And let's see what we need to do. All right, so the first one is going to be a sand and stuff. Two damage. Not horrible. Activates on two fives. We have a one AoE. Um, also activates on a five. That's looking bad. Um, we have a one and add an enemy to the rear. We have a four. That's a three damage. That other one was a three damage as well. Two damage with the three attack, but he has a two shield, so he's going to be a little hard to take out. Um, and then we have a four activation, three damage, five shield. Um, looking, we will have to draw a radiation card and the first one is damage dealt to enemies in the front section reduced by two well i don't have anything in front so we will need to take some of these out and i think our back is the best way to do it so we have a one a three and a five and as much as i don't want to use the five the one is gonna hurt as well I'm looking, and he's going to do two, and then he's going to do, like, three. So I'm probably just going to take the three, but it will add an additional enemy to the section, which kind of is okay. So we're going to activate the one. It's going to do three damage, two. I guess let's go on the lifeline. Um, an AoE attack will hurt that, though, but I'm hoping to get a repair. we have anything good? Yes, we do have some good stuff. Um, fours and threes. I don't have any fours or threes on the back, but I do have a five. So, uh, might be able to do something useful. Um, we're taking the three here. Yep. And we will move him around. We'll add an enemy to the rear section, which is also not ideal. What do we get? Another one. Oh, I don't like him. I don't like him. Okay, so that is our one activation. We have a one, two, five, five, six. And 
I want that six later, but I'm looking. We have a four up front. Nope. We have a two. We could use the two. And it would basically just do some damage. I'm looking. Yeah. So we're going to use the two, and we'll hit them for two. Or hit him for one, right? Yeah, no, hit him for two. So he's down to two. Um, and then let's use this guy to reallocate this one. Should I think where we? I think we use the three. Mm -hmm. We're gonna use the three. We will repair two, and we will. Do damage. We're gonna do damage on I think this guy back here. Okay, and I think I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it there. I don't like my dice rolls too much. We'll see what we can do. Nothing much better. That's not good. Uh, we got twos and a five. What's the? Yeah, we don't want to use those. That's the biggest problem. So we're probably gonna have to use the five. Probably gonna have to use the five. Um, so we'll activate him. He's gonna do one to everything. This is already hurting. And then he's gonna hit something for two. We're gonna put it on this guy. And he's gonna come down here as well. Um, two, two, five. Well, do we have one that can tick up and down? We do with a four. We have too many fours, man. That's not good. Um, we can use the two. Two won't do anything. We could ram, but it's only gonna do one damage. I'm trying to figure out what the best play would be. One AOE while they're back here, but I won't get through two of them. That is, this is a tough one. Not good dice rolls. Hmm. I have to use a die though. I have to use a dice. Um, I would almost want to bump one of those guys up to the front section. One of them that doesn't do as much damage maybe. Or we just clear it. Let's just, I guess let's just use this guy too and we'll clear this guy off so we can use him on the next turn. This is rough. I'm not, I'm not happy right now. Oops. Okay. What do we got? We got a three. Anything to activate on a three? Yes. He will do two damage. Where do you want to do the two damage to? Let's do it on that front part. Um, that's only three, right? Yep. That is okay. And then, I want to do a three here. So I'm going to do a two damage to this guy back here. And it'll allow me to draw a enemy card from the deck and add it to my scrap pile. That's a, f oh my gosh, perfect. Um, perfect, I think. Um. Just trying to figure out the best way to do this. Yeah, I have an idea. So I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna play this four, and we're gonna do uh, two damage to this guy. I think. What's he got? Five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not perfect though. I want to scrap him. I want to get him too. I'm just trying to figure out how to get both of these. Um, if I play a five, I'll block that spot. 
but it will get rid of I think we can get this. Um, all right, so if we play this five here. It's not gonna repair anything, but it will add two. And then we play this guy here, which is gonna allow it me to have another card, and we can put this guy out of his misery. Um, that's done. And now we can play this four. Activating this part. Oh, either way, it's going to over hit him. Let's play the five. I'll play the five. Get rid of him. I have two scrap in my hand to activate fours, which is a big problem on the last one. Um, instead of uh, those, will get blocked by the damage. I just didn't want to over hit it when I can basically play it right off the bat and start doing some damage. So, um, yeah, that will be the first one. We will grab all of these guys. And then we have to do the thing I don't really like. Let's grab this radiation card, and we're going to be drawn two. Hopefully, you don't get any further than two, because, like I said, these will start to stack. And... Not good. Not good. All right, so we got a one. Immediately discard a white die from your pool without activating it. I guess I should have rolled first. Let's do this. All right, well, we'll get rid of the one. That's just unfortunate. But we have enough scrap. Oops. Um, and then this guy. When you place a die on a part to activate it, it is damaged by one. That's what I'm telling you. This thing is... So we will use these scraps, though. They'll get around it. Um, all right, so we have a three, a two, and a four. I think I'm going to activate the three. So I can get him over to the side. I don't know how I'm going to take him out, but... Might want to bump one of those guys. Oh, with the one. Yep. I see it. I see it. Um three, two, four. Hit the four. Um four. The problem with the four is he's gonna take out something on that side. We can't take any damage. I'm gonna have to probably activate the three or risk rolling. I don't want to do that. Let's just activate him. The three is gonna do two. Yeah. I guess let's put it on. The Doom Sneezer. I don't want to have too many parts damaged. And he'll activate and go over to here. I'm looking and I'm thinking if we bump him to the back. I have a lot of force. So we can we can definitely uh, do some damage. I'm thinking one, two, three. It'll over, but it'll get him gone. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna use uh my ram it's not gonna damage him but it will move him back over here and then we're gonna play a four and it's gonna do one plus two so it's gonna do two to this guy uh two to this guy and then it'll do one to this guy oh no this is gonna be fine and let's play this again and it's gonna do the exact same thing two here uh two here and it will take him out because it'll block two and it'll do one and we'll get him back which is great so he is gone and then i think we're gonna play this three play this three right now uh we could and i think we're probably gonna want to get rid of he has a shield we can get rid of this guy fives aren't super useful though But I think that's what we should do. We just get rid of this guy off the board. Yeah, we're going to play a three. Oh, hold on, hold on. We want to use this guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. We want to use the Recycler. I know we got damage on here, but let's use the Recycler. And uh, we're going to hit him for two. One will get through and it'll block him. And then we get to draw another one, which is a six, which is okay. We might be able to use it for that forward, that front activation. Regardless, we just need to get through this round and maybe repair some stuff. And these are both really good for repairing. All right, so we need to re-roll, making sure we haven't forgot anything. I haven't actually activated a card because I used uh, the ram. All right, so let's see what we got. We just need to get rid of one of these to get through the round. So 
That's probably gonna be our focus, is getting rid of that six or that one. We got a one. I don't like it. We're gonna use a four. Oh my gosh. Well, it'll just destroy this front part, and that's okay. Taking some damage up front. Not a big deal. The card was okay. We can repair it. Be no big deal. So he's up front. That's awesome. I have a plan. We're gonna play the six. Play the six. Gonna hit this guy for one. We're gonna take this die and use it to activate one of your parts or repair. Um. What is our best play? Probably to activate the flamethrower. Yeah. It'll take out this guy at the back. Gets us below. No, no, no. Let's activate this one. We have a four. Okay. So let's do this. We're going to activate this three. It's going to damage it, which is not ideal. But it's going to do two. Uh, it'll do one to him. Um, and we get a repair. I'm thinking... I mean, this guy's more useful. So let's get him gone. Repair himself. Uh, we'll use the four, which is going to damage him. But it will do one to the six, blocking the shield. And then it'll do an additional two, taking him out. So now we have him out, and we only have one dice roll left. One and five. Can I do anything? No. Okay. Four and a six won't do anything. We do have a four, and the fours are pretty useful if I play that one. All right, let's see what we're doing with the uh, boss run phase. Just don't be a low roll. Six, reroll this die and assign the damage equal to the value shown across your parts. Low roll, low roll. Six. Oh. Um, I wish I'm going to assign it all to that front right for it, I guess. Scare right here? Yeah. Not ideal. Lots of damage. All right, so we have a four. I don't even think, I think we leave these guys alone. I have a bunch. I'm gonna assign this four and get some scrap. Yep, let's do it. Two, can we use it? Do we wanna use it? No, I don't think we do. All right, so we got two damage parts, which is not ideal, but we do have a bunch of scrap to repair. Um, and this will end our run phase with two damage parts. Ouch. But we will be doing a lot of repairing, so hopefully that helps. Let's go ahead and put these back over here. Um, and we will get four wreckage parts. Okay. One, two, three, four. We really just need the best part for here, and I think it might be that death stare, and maybe try to upgrade um, my lifeline. Let's uh, let's do the roll, see what we can get. I don't think we can. Uh, we could push our luck on the sixes, but I don't think we're gonna want to. All right, what do we got? Uh, we have a five missing a dice. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Did I just like completely hurt myself on all of those by not grabbing that dice back? Because I think I only used it once or twice. I only use it once. Oh my gosh. You guys are probably screaming at me right now. Okay, so we got a two, three, four, which I think we're going to keep. A two, three, four, five. This is a hard part to get, but two, three, four, five, right out of the gate. Then we're going to have to risk it. But I think getting the death stare right here is the best play. These guys need to go. Um, It's a good part. It's got a shield. Let's do it. Okay. Then I think we're going to use everything else we have to repair. Those are all been used. We got the death stare out though, and it looks pretty good. Um, So I have a one, two, I have a five. All right, so let's... uh. Let's reroll the five. And it's a five. 
We'll discard this and let's repair this guy. Um, and then let's discard. I don't think we're going to use any of these. I liked him, but eh. Death Stare's better. It was expensive, but we're only adding one part. We'll get rid of this guy to reroll. We need to reroll. Yeah, we do. We need to try to get the other part repaired. Uh, we have two sixes, so let's do that. Let's reroll that. Okay, three. Um, so that's good. We'll repair this guy. Now we have a four and a. We use the six, so we got one dice left. What to do? Um, we have a four, so we can use this dice to repair that guy fully. Get him out. Um, and then we're sitting with a one and a two, which is not ideal. I was hoping to upgrade Lifeline, but we did get fully repaired. And I don't really have anything else to roll. So that's, I think, going to do it. Almost fully repaired. Obviously, we have this guy. We could repair the one off. But the two only activates that. Uh, tough call. Do we do it? I think we do. Just get it off. Get it gone. Twos aren't super useful for uh, the way I have things set up. We have a threes or one, two, three, one, two, three, four threes. But that's okay. We have everything covered but a one and that's what we have. All right, so let's move to the run phase. Yep, let's move to the run phase. Let's shuffle our, uh, well, our nasty deck, our uh, radiation deck, that's what it's called. Yep, radiation cards. Let's put these right here and let's see what we have coming out. We got one up front, we got two on this side, we have three in the back, we have two on this side. Hopefully the recycler can save me. Um, I don't think this is going as bad as my uh, my last one though. My last play was a little bit more, I don't know. I don't like the fact that the core's got six damage on it, but we'll deal with it. Okay, so we have a nuclear trucker up front, two health, two shield, activates on three, does two damage. Uh, one AOE, activates on a three, four health, one, da uh, one shield, uh, a two, um, Area of effect damage activates on a six, only has four health though, so we could probably get rid of you pretty quick. Uh, Bullet for you does three damage on a four and has three health and one shield. Fire forever, four damage, ouch. Two activation, five health. Window liquor uh, deals one damage when attacking core. Um, activates on a five, needs an exact six, otherwise it'll do damage, and uh, hits on a three and a two, three and a two damage. Um, six health, four activation, two damage, and uh, one area of effect with three activation and four health and one shield. And we have a one, so we might be able to bump somebody, we might be able to bump somebody around and do some, do some hits with that flamethrower and then figure it out from there. But let's let's see what we got. And try to remember to grab my reallocate because that definitely uh, hurt me out of a turn. All right, we got a one, four, and a five. Ooh, we need to roll this first. You cannot take a ramming action. Well, this card's no good. All right, one, four, five. What do you want to do? I have one, four, and a five. I'm gonna activate the four. I'm gonna activate the four. Oh no, we have two fours. I'm looking. I don't really like any of them. It's, it's the basically the same. I think we're gonna have to do the four. Let's activate the four. Not ideal though. We can't ram. We don't have a. All right, we have to hold off. Do we even have? We have three sixes. Ouch. Well, here's what we can do. We'll activate the four. It's gonna go up here. It's gonna do two damage to so something over here. 
We'll do it to the death stare. It has a one shield. It can only it only take one. We'll activate this one. It's gonna do three. I don't necessarily like it, but we'll put the three on probably the recycler since it's really early in. And that is okay. Next, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use one of these sixes. And I'm gonna do one damage to you, but then I'm gonna take your dice and I'm gonna activate another part. And I'm looking. Oh yeah, we're good. I'm gonna use this right now. It's gonna hit him for one, it gets blocked by a shield, but does two. And then I'm gonna hit him for three. Is that the best play? No, let's not, let's not do that. No, 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 let's do it down here. Um, we'll do, uh, it's three and three. Three and three. Um, and then I still have, I can use a three right now. Yep. Get rid of that guy and repair. So let's do a three right here. It's going to do two damage to this guy, which will destroy it and will give me a two. But also, hold on. Do we want to repair or get an extra card? Let's, let's maybe get an extra card. Let's use a three. It'll do two, it'll do the same thing. It'll destroy him, and then we can get an extra scrap, which is a four. That is funny. Um, do we try to take him out? I don't think so. We have a four though. Where's a good, ooh, up there. We could technically get another dice out here if I play this, so let's do this. Um, if we play the four, we could tick that up to a three. We can do two damage to one of these parts. So let's do that. Let's do it on the Doom Sneezer. I'm going to activate him with this four. He's going to do two damage, which will put it on this guy. And then we get a uh, increase this die value, which we will, and put a three on, which will allow us to repair this guy for two. And then it will allow us to do two damage. So he's at a five, and we really just need anything to activate that if we can clear it. That's what we'll do. All right, I'm good with that. Let's roll. Let's remember, I can't take a ramming action. Okay, a five and a four activation. We will, the four is not good, but it would bring him over here. We didn't get a bunch of threes though. I'm looking at this guy. He does two plus one. And we can move him up to there. That's going to do a two. No, 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 that's fine. Activate a four. He'll do two damage to this guy. Not ideal. And he'll move up here. We'll activate you. You'll do two damage to something. What do you want to do it to? Uh, probably the middle part. Because at some point I want to get it. Uh, I want to get it uh, upgraded. So that upgrade would fix it. Okay. Now what do we have? Well, I want to hit this guy I think for three just don't know how to use the other three can't use it yet anyways though um all right we'll use the three and then we're gonna hit this guy and it's gonna do two plus one um so it'll do two damage on this guy and then we can move them let's move them to the back? Yeah, let's move back to the back. Um, and then we need a three. Oh, I can't use it yet. Ooh, cannot use it yet, okay. All right, let's roll. So three and a five, five's good, I 
think five should be okay. Three. It's going to do two damage. Um, we're going to have to put it on something else. Oh, wow. It's a lot of activations. Do we go with it? How much damage is this going to do? It's going to do three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we're going to have to take the boss and see what he will do to us because I don't think we take that roll. Let's, what's the boss want to do? Four, deal two damage, two area damage to your right side. Well, you know, that was pretty much what was going to happen anyway. So two, two, uh, two, not ideal, but what will we going to do? Um, we can repair that with this anyways, at least one of them. All right, we got a five. I'm trying to figure out what the best activation would be. Um, probably just hitting getting him gone i know it's not going to give us anything but it would just getting him off of there would be okay um, i just don't see anything else that's super useful oh yelling at me right now for sure could take one dice and move it someplace else we only have a couple open spots though Oh, but I figured that out. Yeah. Uh, part to another. Oh, okay, so I can't go like part to part. Um, I got another four, but I can use this one. Oh, a white die. All my good spots are taken. Yeah, that doesn't even really help me. Can use the two and do some damp. Oh, hold on, hold on. We can. Hold up, let's not play this yet. Let's play this guy for a two. Um, we'll do two damage. Let's place it on this guy, and we get to clear a dice. I'm just looking. That could, that's going to over, overkill him. Might just have to. It's a lot though. Actually, I think that's the play. Um, do the damage to this guy. It'll only be one. Yeah, that's what we're gonna. Do. I got a plan. Okay, so um, we're gonna do. I don't know. No, let's do this. Let's just get him gone. I think getting some of these guys off here is the best play. Regardless of whether I can scrap him or not. Um, so I'm going to do that. It's going to clear. It did two damage. Now I can place this guy. And we can reallocate. Um, any white dice. Doesn't really matter. I am. I can't do. Oh no I cleared this guy. This is the one we cleared right? Yep. This is the one we're going to clear. Um, then we can reallocate. So Four. And that's going to do three AOE. I'm just thinking maybe the back. I know it's going to take him out, take him out. I'll take him out, though. Let's do that. It'll take him out at three. It's going to give me a four, which is obviously super useful. Um, it'll do two to him, and then it'll overkill this guy, which is unfortunate. But my right side is quite damaged. Um, Yeah, I believe that is it. I believe that is it. Okay, so let's grab these dice. Why did this not go on something? Oh, I was doing it for that. It was the right side thing. Okay. I was like confused. I took one off. One was on. Okay. There we go. Grab all these guys. We'll need to shuffle and draw another radiation card. Two this time. But I'm going to tell you right now, I have... This is working a little bit better than last time. I know we have a ton of core damage, but I uh, was really struggling with damage and uh, having like a bunch of the... The roll, I was rolling a bunch of sixes, I'm not going to lie, it was, you cannot use any threes, fantastic, you cannot take a ramming action, fantastic, okay. <laughs> of course, I roll three threes right off the bat, that is kind of messed up. Um, so we got a two, three, and a six, what do you want to do? 
Three's bad. Oh my gosh. I don't want to... If I roll a three, it's two damage. It's a lot. That's, that's a lot. That's like six, seven, eight. So we can't use that. We're going to have to roll. I'm going to have to risk it. A three. Deal two area damage to your left side. Oh my gosh. So... One's getting through. That's just... That's gone. <laughs> My death stare. Okay. And then two and two. Sorry. We'll get that back. We'll get it back. We're hanging in there. We need to repair the Huge repair actions. And I can't use any threes. So that's, that's fantastic. Um, We need to take these guys out though. I can't use any threes. Um, I have all threes but a two... Just trying to figure this out. We use a four. We can we can get those guys gone, or we can get. I'm looking up top. We have a six. Nope. We at least have to play one dice. Um. And I want to play it. Can't ram. See that is messed up. Cannot use any threes, and you can't take a ramming action. I'm gonna have to play this guy first. I'm thinking. I can just I can clear this back, and I know it's not ideal. I'll get a three. I wonder if that only counts to dice or it counts to scrap as well. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm gonna play this though. I'm gonna play this four back here, and it, it will destroy this guy, which is not ideal. But he's gone. I mean. That's that's a good that's a good thing, um, and then this guy will also take one plus two, and we'll have him. We can't use him. I mean, we could. We just actually can't. It says threes. Um, but we still need to use this guy. Um, unsure, unsure. We'll play. I guess we're gonna do this. We'll do this, and we'll do one damage to this guy. Um. Hopefully we have a way to reallocate and clear it though, so we can get rid of that guy. But I don't know if we will. All right, let's roll. I'm gonna have to save maybe some of these dice for repairs. Hopefully get like a pair or something. All right, so we got a one and a five. She can't use any of them, so we're rolling. A one. Immediately flip over an additional radiation card this turn. I'm okay. What do we got? When you place a die on a part and activate it, it is damaged by one. We get anything good though? We did okay. We did okay. Um, this is this is gonna be huge though. So I'm gonna play this five right here on the reallocate. We'll pull him off. And we will put him on I'm looking. Four. I'm gonna put it on this guy. It's gonna do two damage. I'm just trying to figure out who to do it to. Probably this one because I can't. I wouldn't even get through the shield. But it allows me to increase or decrease a die value, so we can select what we want to do. I already have a two, and I only have. I can play two dice. Can't use any threes. I could use a six. We don't have any reason to use a six. Could do that four again, but it'll overkill it. Um, I'm just looking. Um, oh yeah, let's do this. I got, it. I got. It. Okay, so we'll play um, this two here, and it will take him out. And I guess we can just clear this dice. Um, we'll take him out. It'll do one over what he's got and it'll give me a three which I'm gonna need because I'm probably gonna just repair so much um yeah we can oh this will give me my destruction back that'll, that'll work um and then we're going to use um this four back here and it won't hit anybody but it'll allow me to draw a scrap card so that's a five so that'll work we just gotta finish this wave oh and I need to damage these parts Right? Yeah. Unfortunately, I do. Come on, let's roll. 
No fives, and I got a five. That hurts. Can we use a five to repair it? Yeah. All right, so. It's a six. Reroll this dice. Slow, low, low. One. Perfect. Okay. Probably up front. No, no, no. Back here. Back here. So we're definitely going to replace. Those two I'm definitely going to replace. Okay, so we have a... This guy's done, and now I'm going to repair inside this phase, I think. Um, if we have it... Oh, we need a five. Yeah, anything with a five activation we can use? Nope. Is there any reason to try to destroy that guy? Nope. <sighs> Can we use the five for, yeah, we'll have to use the five for repairs. Um, I'm looking and I, we can do it up front because we'll spend a five to repair and I believe it'll just get rid of one, right? I think it'll just get rid of one. I need to check that. Checking that real quick. It's been a couple couple days since I've played this. Um, repairs, 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 repairs during the run. Exact it'll repair two, otherwise it just repairs one. That's what I thought. Um, I'm just looking. What is a good one? We could just take one off. I'm thinking the twin cannons because I'm probably not going to... Uh... Yeah, we'll just put it up here and get one damage off. I'm probably not going to be able to get that one upgraded. I'm probably looking at upgrading the other two if I can. But I do have enough to fix that destruction. And hopefully maybe I roll a one. So I think that's, that's it for... Uh... Round two, we'll go ahead and press on to round three. Make sure I grab all of my dice to roll. And we will have a uh, mutant mod out, and uh, she's fun. She's fun. Yep. Okay, so we got five whites, three reds. And I need uh, six scrap or six wreckage uh, parts. I don't know if we're going to use them all, but they will help for some rerolls. Or if we can find something that just is better. Double barrelers is always pretty good, but that's pretty hard to get. Four of a kind. Um, that's a nine, so we might use that just to repair something that's not super useful. Just replace it. Gamble Blaster as well. Wow. That, that gamble buster could work. Okay, so what do we got? I feel like we need some ones. We did get some fours. So we could spin the fours. Um, we could spin the... F I, get, I did get a five, so we could do that right now. Let's do that right now. Let's grab this and grab this five and use it to repair this destruction. So that is gone. Um, I don't want to just repair, but I definitely want to get that guy fixed. So we have a two of a kind. I don't know if we gamble. I don't know if we gamble. We haven't taken any core damage, but I'm pretty sure she just does. No, she doesn't. But she does, she does a ton of AOE, so we need to get healed up and figure out how we're going to manipulate her and get her by herself. And just 22 health's a lot, too. We have a lot of good damaging parts, though. Um, I think if we get him fixed, what's what do we need to get this uh, fire and reload in? Four of any dice. So we may have to risk those. So we could repair, of course it's four then three is the most popular thing we got. Um, we have a three of a kind, not that we want. Okay, well let's, let's use these. These fours are gone. We will uh, hit major lifeline in play. I'm going to use this one. Yeah, I think I'm going to use that to try to get that in play. I'm just looking. we got three of a kind. That four will repair that front piece. Let's do it. How many? We'll use this guy and... Here the flamethrower. I'm pretty sure we're not coming out of this unscathed. I'm gonna tell you right now. I don't think we're gonna come out of this unscathed, but we don't want it to uh, go down quickly. That's gonna be good. 
Recycler is really good too, but we have... Oh man, repair arm. What am I doing? Let's do it right now. Let's risk it. I'm risking it. We're gonna get the repair arm out. And I know exactly where we want to put it. And it is a five, so let's let's re-roll this guy. Um, it's a one, so nothing happens. Um, and we're gonna get uh, this repair arm. I think this is the best play we can do up front. Replace this guy. Not as much health, but tons of repair action. Um, so that'll be fine. That wasn't super useful. Um, looking, what do we need to do? So we have two fours. Four repairs that. Yep, let's play the four. Repair this guy. I know we still got that guy to deal with, but we need three of any kind, which we have. Did use this right? I don't think I did. I think he's still in play. Won't really help us though. We just gotta re-roll both of these and hope we don't get a six, which we did in three and a five. Okay. Keep that guy, scrap those, upgrade the fire and reload. Leaving me with a three, which I like, because we could just use this right off the bat. As long as he doesn't take damage, how's the back looking? It's gonna be a one and one, but she's gonna basically take damage on the first turn. Do we repair this right off the bat? We have a plenty of repair options. As long as it doesn't take too many, okay. And I guess we'll uh, we'll leave we'll keep the three. The three is useful as long as we don't get a can't play a three because that that is super irritating. But let's make sure we shuffle this. And we do. I think we're gonna be okay. We don't have any. We have a little bit of damage. I think that front one's probably the one I would get rid of first since it's not doing a ton. That one's doing two. I don't know. We'll see. Let's shuffle, um, let's put these out first and then we'll shuffle. We need uh, three up top. We need uh, two to the side. Uh, we need one to the back with mutant mod and then two to the side. So if we can survive this, we will win. And we're, we're looking okay, we're looking okay. Let's Let's shuffle this guy. Flip and see what we got going on. We got a two activation, six health, one shield, um, and it has a roll the current red die and deal single damage to one part. Um, yep, uh, we have a one and a two damage with a one activation, five health, one shield, um, four activation on two spots, six health, um, and a three two. Um, that's plus one when attacking a core. This is another one of those guys. Oh my gosh, another uh, roll dice and do damage on a five activation. A two activation does four damage, five health. Mutant mods always activating, always doing one AoE. A uh, classic masher, three AoE, place current red die on parts, empty slot, and do not activate it. But it does three AoE, so you need to probably, you're probably the worst one on here. You need to go. Another three um, activates on a six. Add a new enemy to the rear, and then a one hits a fair one and two. So one's not horrible, two's pretty bad, three's really bad. We could probably get away with activating that four. Um, five's not great either, and a six is probably the other option. That's probably the best option. So we'll see what we got. Let's shuffle these, and uh, I guess let's roll and then shuffle because I feel like it's always like. Uh, discard a white die and you kind of want to pick so I don't I don't a rolled white die so first one immediately discard a white die from your pool without activating it what do we not want we had a two probably get rid of the two yeah let's get rid of the two that's fun um and then we have a three and a five and a five to deal with I guess we're gonna go with the five it's not the best play She's gonna activate for one, hit everything on the back side. So it'll do a damage here and a damage here. And then we will figure out what we wanna do with this guy. Please, please. 
It's a four. So I guess we'll put it on this guy. That's not good to start. We do have some repairs we can do. So um, we'll activate this guy and repair everything. Um, we will activate this three, I'm guessing. Three would probably be good to use right off the bat. Try to get rid of this guy on the back. We have four to use. I'm looking. Yeah, we're gonna need to keep we basically need to keep probably the back clear so we can just do a ton of damage. When she comes back around. Because I don't think there's any way of getting around. She's going to keep moving. So if we set up for. She'll move here. Move here. And then she'll move again there. If we can keep that back in clear. That's probably our best damage. I mean we can do two, four. Um, potentially seven. If we could activate all of them. But we won't get to unless we have cards. So. Uh, let's. Uh, just trying to think. Do we need to heal anything super bad? Recycler could use some healing, but he's only going to hit for three. We'll probably do it on the major lifeline. So if we use this three, we could draw. We could do two damage here and draw another card. Which is probably a good play. So let's do two damage. Draw a scrap card. It's a three. Perfect. Um... We could go ahead and play that five and move it. Just thinking, do we do this again? Let's see if we can just or do this in a heal. So we do have another four. Oh, we do. Mm -hmm. Here's what we're gonna do. I wanna play this again. We're gonna activate, we're gonna hit him for two. And we're gonna grab another card. It's a four, that's pretty good. I'm going to use a 5 to reallocate. Yep. We're going to take him. And we're going to use this guy. Ooh, we don't want to do that yet. Let's do this. So it'll do another 2. Getting him out. We can use that right off the bat. And we get to draw another card. That recycler can be super powerful. And we got um, three, three, four in my hand. So that's that's pretty good for an opening turn. Um, we should be able to start smashing. Anything that comes back here, we should just be able to hit really good. Um, obviously, we got to worry about taking damage, but we'll see what happens. We did get that spot back open. I don't have a five, but I do have a way to manipulate a five. Um, so we have a two and a three. Two is not great. And three doesn't do anything because I just destroyed. I think I just destroyed some threes. Oh, man. Okay, Um, that's fine. I guess we're going to roll. I don't want to roll. He's going to do one AoE, which won't do anything here. We'll do one damage here. So that is a good setup. I wish I had some area effect damage up front, but it'll be okay. Uh, we will have to... Um, we're gonna have to roll. I, I'm not activating threes. Threes or or twos. Twos would be twos are not good. Let's not do that. Um, so we're gonna roll, and it's a one. Immediately flip over an additional. Okay, uh, I cannot use any threes now. That did not work out to my favor, but we do have fours in my hand, which is unfortunate because that was about to set me up for a big turn. We got twos. What's my best two play? Um, probably on the side. We don't have anything blocked. So I'm just looking what my biggest damage is going to be. Um, either way, I think we're going to have to do this. We'll do two. Um, we can clear spots. Doesn't really matter. Um, and it'll do two AOE. So going to hit this guy for one. This guy for two. And then we need to get rid of him. So we'll play the four. Play the four. It'll take him out. And we will add two damage to that guy. Gives me a two. 
which is not very useful right now. I don't think I could have done that in another order, though. We're in trouble. We have got to get rid of that card. All right. Last rule. Two and a four, so that'll work. Um, two is activating. Yeah, we'll let him go. Five damage. All right, what are we doing? He's got three on him. I'm just trying to figure out. <sighs> Probably not him. Probably going to just destroy this front guy. Because he's... Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. He had two? Let's do this in a different order. Um, let's activate her first. She's going to do one to everything. Yep. And then she'll move over here. Um, and then he is the one doing five, so we'll just have him do that to this guy. Quarter pieces, I feel like, are more useful. So let's let's destroy that, and he's over here, which is okay, because you gave me access to my flamethrower. And I could, I could repair that, but I'm going to wait. No AoE. We can kind of pick. Um, we'll just use this again. Four. Um, so it's going to do one and two. It'll do two to him. And then two to you. Yep. And that will be the end of the first round. Okay. Let's grab everything off. We will have to uh, activate... We'll have to flip two cards. But I think we're doing okay. Yeah, we got to do 22 to her, but we get her back here, and we can start slamming her with these fours in the back. I think we'll uh, figure it out. I'm going to miss that. But let's do this, and let's uh, roll our dice before we draw, and let's hopefully not get... I'd rather take... There's a couple cards in here I'd much rather have than that. You cannot activate a ramming action. Yeah, you have two damage parts when placing on them. Okay, so those aren't the worst ones. We'll still have two this round, even though we kind of drew one mid-turn. Um, but that's okay. We have a three, three, and a five. So we can activate the five and decide where to put the damage. Probably going to be on that repair arm. Do I have a five? Or we could do it on that fire and load. I'm just looking. We got fives. No, but we do have a way to alter some dice. Um, so we can definitely play it safe on this first turn. Maybe use that. Oh, we have threes though. We can roll. We can, we're good. We're good. Um, so five. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's just. I guess let's roll. I don't want to risk taking more damage. Let's see what happens on this five. It's gonna do four damage on one part. So that actually kind of worked out. We're gonna put it all on this guy, which isn't ideal, but we'll get there. Um, and then the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to activate. It's going to damage this guy, but we'll clear all of this off, which is useful because I think he's my only two. Um, and then we're going to use a three here. Um, we'll do two damage. Looking who's the worst. Um, let's do it to this guy. He only does a one. I like that. Okay. Um, it's going to damage me, but I have a shield and I'm going to repair two. I'm just looking at what we got. Probably need to take it off here. And we get manipulated dice. I think we're pretty good though um yeah i think i think of a bunch of damage we can do this turn so um oh he didn't move and he should have aoe'd he didn't move and he should have aoe'd sheesh okay that is 
That's okay. Actually, that is okay. I, I'm going to undo this. Yeah. I'm going to undo this now. Um. All right, so my next turn, I'm going to play another three, and we're going to do two damage, and we're going to draw a card. And it's a two. Um, and we're going to play that two. And I'm going to do, um, I'm going to clear this dice. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let's not play the two yet. I need a place to die. I'm looking, and I think this is the best play. I'm just trying to think, are we going to take those guys out over? One, two, three, four, five. That will take him out. That's fine. Okay, let's do a four, and it's not the best move, but we're going to hit him for all three. Um, so we'll remove two, replace it with a five. That's the seven damage. Now we'll play a two, and we will activate this part. We'll clear both of these, and we'll do a two AoE. One will get through, one will get through. This guy is gone. Um, what else we got? Another repair action would be really good. Especially on that recycler, but not a whole lot back there. Um, can we play another dice this turn? I believe it. I'm just thinking, can we get rid of him? No. Five would be good, though. I definitely think we needed to add a damage here though. Yeah. So do we add the damage to the flamethrower or? Yeah, I'm thinking so. We gotta keep that flamethrower healthy. But I don't see a whole lot going in on it. Um, in fact, I think the repair arm is probably the one that takes the most damage now. We do have a five though. I could place a five and do it, but I could heal them both to be honest. But then I'm only gonna have. We should use my five now that I have it out, but I don't have it out. I have a five in my hand though. Or do we keep smacking the back? Maybe we just keep, um, do I have anything that could activate the back? It was six, a five, and a two. Honestly, I'm thinking right now we play the five. Play the five up here. Let's clear this off. So this is like a, quite a bit of damage. Yeah. And we'll leave it. Of course, I don't have another five to activate, so play this guy. And then let's play this guy. Yep. And we'll clear this guy. And so now we have less damage. Okay, now let's roll. I have a two in my hand still. I have a two in my hand still. Um, let's see what happens. Obviously, she's going to activate and move, which is not ideal. But uh, we have a two and a three. Uh, I think I'm going to activate the two. Um, and then the three. No, we don't have a three, so we'll have to activate the two, but I did get some fours, so that'll work. Um, maybe. Wish I knew. Because he's going to hit for one on all of these and then move, right? And then we got to roll the two. And it's only hitting for two, so let's put it on the... I don't know, repair arm. And we'll move him back here. Can we get rid of him on this turn? I don't think so. We do have two fours, but we can't use them both. Um, let's do this. Use this four. Ooh, we can't do that. It'll, it'll hurt us. Forgot about that. I forgot about that. Any... Um, We'll damage any part we use. Um, so let's use. I guess we're just gonna have to use this guy. It's the best play. I'm trying to get this back end open. Um, and he'll do two damage. Not ideal. I think this is the best play.
Um, actually, no. Let's do this. It's an over, but um, we still get to do two damage, which will go down to one, leaving that four open. If we get a five, that would be awesome. Um, and then um, I know it's not taking damage, and we'll be able to help this recycler. Okay. All right, last roll for this round, and then we got to draw more cards. Oh my god, that was a great roll. Okay, so five. What are we doing with a five? Uh, nothing to activate except for him. He will activate. Go up top. We'll do one AOE damage. Um, but it will only hit this guy because those have shields. Um, and then we got to roll this guy to figure out what the boss run phase is going to do. It's going to be a two. Immediately flip over an additional radiation card this turn. Damage dealt to enemies in the front section is reduced by two. That's okay. Um, and then I think we're going to use this guy. Reallocate. And we can get rid of him, right? I believe so. Move this guy over to here. Um, it'll block one and then do two. And it gives me another two, which is okay. And that guy is gone. We are making our way through. Um, and that would also damage the flamethrower by one. Okay. Grab all our dice. Down to five enemies, though. So, I mean, that's solid. And we got two twos, which that part, when he comes around, be fine. I'm just going to activate on that first turn. And we should be able to smash her for four. Yep. Oh, take that guy off. All right. Let's uh, shuffle. Let's see where we're at. One, you may not take a ramming action. Two, damage dealt by enemies in the front is reduced by two. Three, at the end of the run turn, each enemy in the rear section deals one area damage. Dude, this is, could not be a better. This could not be better. I like it. This is this is very good. Okay, so. We have a 5, a 4, and a 5, which will only activate this guy in the front. So we're going to go 4. He's going to hit it for 3 and then 2. So we're going to activate him first. This, area, this front's probably about to get wrecked. I'm thinking. He's going to do 1 to each. Do we activate him? He's going to take both parts down. But that's really only two damage, which is a pretty good trade-off. Especially since I think we have enough cards to maybe... We're basically racing um, that one now, I'm pretty sure. So let's do it. Um, we'll activate it. She's coming around here, though. Eek. But we have enough to deal with it. So let's... Uh, I think... No, I think we do. We do. Let's do it. We're going all out. Um, so yeah, it's basically going to damage both of these guys and destroy both of these corner parts. So our front end is just destroyed. Okay. Um, and then he's over there. Which is fine. So we're over on this side now, and it is our turn. And we're going to just start playing some twos. All right, we're going to play this two. It's going to damage this part. Not great. Um, and it will do two damage. Yep. And then we're going to play this guy, and it's going to do another two damage. And then we're going to play this guy, which is going to destroy him. Giving me a four, which is absolutely great. This actually worked out really well. And then since there's nobody else left in there now, um, we will add two damage here. That's the most we can do right there. I'm looking and I'm thinking, yeah, because he's destroyed. We'll play this four that we just picked up. We'll do a damage here, but we should be able to do three. So now we are at 12. 
This is tough. And then we're going to have to play this four. I'm looking. Hold on. Well, let's play this five to reallocate this one over to here to do four damage. It's going to be three. Can we do this? This is going to be really close. I'm going to use one more die. We don't have another die. We're going to have to save those. Okay, we'll save them. All right, next activation turn. We already know what's going to happen there. We're going to take some core damage, so not good. Um, it's a two and a five. We're going to have to roll it. But she is going to do one damage to the core, one damage to this part, which is going to destroy this part. And a damage here. We are in trouble. I don't know if we're going to make it. I don't know if we're going to make it. We didn't get the best rolls in the back, but um, we are going to have to roll one of these for the boss. It's a five. Reroll this in damage. Come on, low. Three. Okay. Well, we'll assign one, two, three um, there. That's not good. But we do have a bunch of ones that do nothing for us. But we do have a four. So we'll play this four. And I'm thinking we're going to go here. We'll damage this part. And then uh, we will do two. Good draw. Come on. Good draw. We got a two. Not good. Can't ram. This guy's pretty much useless. Pretty much useless. Okay, well... Is that a 17? We just need to do five. Can we do it on that side? We could do it on that side if we can get the right roll. Just don't have enough parts to really matter now. Two and a six. Um, and that'll activate sixes. So we'll do a three, which is basically gonna do a two to this and move on, and it's gonna add an enemy to the rear section. She'll do one AoE, which won't do too much here. I don't know what to do with that. Um, we got a five in the back, but that's okay. The problem is now I can't damage her. Can't ram, can't damage her. This is bad. Yeah, I'm. I think I'm gonna lose. I think I'm gonna lose. I don't think there's a whole lot I can do about it. This is unfortunate. I have a two and a six. Twos don't do anything to me. I can't ram. I could use two dice to re-roll. But I don't think it's going to matter. I think I would have had to have done that on... I can't... That's, that's tough. My best play is going to be to, like... Can't do damage. And she's like, the next, this turn actually is going to put me up to, it. when she activates the next time, it's going to put me up to eight, and I don't have anything I can do up front. That is not good. Okay, well, I guess we'll play this out and see what happens. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to do this. Um, I could survive one more round if I do this. Hit uh, this guy for two. Bring her back here. Um. And then I still have this two I can't do anything with. I don't have any repair actions I can really use. Um, I can't ram. I could use these two to reroll this die. Or increase the value by... Oh, increase the value. By putting it right here. Okay. I think that's... 
two dice equals reroll or increase. So we can do this. Um, I guess we just hit. Oh, that'd have just been one. Oh, that might have been the bad play. You think we can try to do this? I don't think repairing is going to help me. This will basically destroy that, though. Which will cause some core damage. But I don't see another way around it. I think I'm going to have to do this. It'll act She'll activate. We need to activate a 1, but that's also going to be risky. 2 damage. So I'm gonna do one to him. We could we could see if we could use a recycler, but we only got one shot at it, so it's probably not the best deal. Um, yeah, we're gonna repair this guy for two, and then we'll put one damage on him, I guess. I don't really know what to do, but we will have a another go at it. I just don't know how bad it's gonna get. I mean, I was looking good there for a second, and then I just did not get the right dice when I needed them. I didn't really be able to activate too much stuff back here. Um, and I'm thinking this is probably going to be the last round. I don't think there's a whole lot I can do about it. And uh, like I said, I, I was worried about this one. All right, so we're up to a one, two, three. Um... Can't use any threes. Yeah, I'm done, dude. This whole section's threes. Damage dealt by enemies in the front by two. When you place a die on a part, activate it. Damage by one, and then at the end of the run turn, each enemy does. Oh, that would have happened. I had that one in play. So not going to do anything, not going to do anything. Uh, my flamethrower is done. So that's not good. Not good. This is uh, going horribly. Regardless of what happens, we will continue on to chapter five. Like I said, I've already beat this once. It was just, it was about like this. Um, that's not good. Okay, so we're going to need a one. I think we're going to need a one. And then hopefully the right die. Might happen. One, two, three, four. Okay, I don't have any scrap. Um, problem is, is, I can ram though. So I guess I could just sit there and ram until, I don't know. We didn't get a one. We got a three, a four, and a six. Can we ram though? Oh, we can ram though. So that'll help. But I can't play any threes. I, I don't know how to get around that. I, I seriously don't know how to get around not. Oh, I can just play pay over. We have enough to pay over, I believe want to get him activated yeah that's what we'll have to do i just we'll have to play three dice right off the bat i don't know if it'll be enough um he's at 17 it'll put him one short oh my gosh put him one short that is that is just that's great okay um all right so we will uh have to roll we're gonna have to roll Three, four. He's gonna act, yeah. Okay. Uh, it's a five. Reroll this dice and allocate. Um, that's a three. So I don't have to put um, one, two, and I guess we'll put one right here. So that's been done. He's gonna move up here after he hits this one. Uh, this one. That's gonna go there. That's at eight. So I'm in. I'm in trouble. Uh, we'll use the one to ram him. Um, here's my thought, though. If I manip, if I moved him, and then damaged him on a ram, could I do that on a ram action? I I want to say you do, but um. And I think this is pretty much the, um, on ram actions, ram actions, ram, 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 ramming, you do not have, if 
You don't have to have um, barbed wire. In this case, you do zero. But anyway, still move to the adjacent sections of your choice. So the problem is, is it's going to move him. And I don't necessarily want him to be moved. Yeah, I don't want to move him. But I'm, I'm dead on the next one. So I could move him back, but then I still have this guy in the way. All right, well, let's see how this plays out. I don't think there's anything I can do about it, except for I could play this uh, six right here. Oh, I just thought about something really sneaky. I don't know if I can do away with it. It says I can't use any threes, but what about reallocate? Um, you can move it and set the result to the choice. Do you think that's kind of a way around that? If I played a six, I'm just saying, if I play a six right now and I do two damage to this guy, to do, uh, problem is I rammed him and he's still going to move. Yeah. I can't not move people, right? You have to move. You have to move people when you ram, correct? Yeah, I'm not. Unless there's something else I'm missing, I'm thinking I'm I'm can't win this. Cannot win this. I wish there was a little bit more explanation for ramming. Like, do you have to move? All right. Well, um. Says ram. Ram so allows you to utilize the barbed wire um, to activate ram. Any value, a limited dice can be placed there. Choose a section of ram, count up, and deal that much damage to the tribute any way. Once damage has been assigned, move all enemies in this section to the adjacent section of your choice. So yeah, that's not even gonna help me. That is that is in fact probably gonna hinder me. So yeah, I think and I'm I'm in trouble unless I can. Move him. I guess I would move him back. He'd go back to here. Um, I would still have this guy. I'm just looking though. I can't repair that. That's going to be nine when he activates again. I can't get rid of him. I don't have any. I have sixes. I don't have any fours. Um, I could place this one to deal two damage to this guy being reduced down to one. I think I already hit him for whatever reason. Uh, and then I will be able to reallocate this dice uh, to a four, which is probably my only chance of doing anything. And I drew a six, which I guess could allow me to... Play that six and do something. I don't know. Is I'm done. As soon as he hits me on the next activation, I'm done. So, I mean, I guess we play this six to, uh, to do another damage to this guy. And repair two. But, yeah, I can't, I can't spin any more dice. I have to reroll, and I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, I mean, it's a two and a three. Regardless, he's going to activate, move around, and he is going to hit me. I'm telling you, what really hurt me was those dice rolls at the very beginning. Those, uh, I think those pretty much crippled me from the get-go. It was like six core damage, and I feel like if I didn't have that six core damage right now, I would be okay. I think I could potentially have got him maybe, like I said, if I could have got him on this side, even with everything in play, I would have been one away. But, yeah, that's... uh. That is unfortunate. Well, this is pretty much going to wrap it up for me. I uh, appreciate you tuning in and watching this playthrough. Uh, unfortunately, it did not go my way. Um, if you saw any, uh, I, there's a couple things I was thinking about that I probably forgot to put some damage on as we were going, activating stuff. Um, but if you saw anything major, uh, let me know. Um, I'm always trying to, this game's rules are not quite, uh, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of the rulebook. That said, um, 
let me know if you guys like this game. I'm going to probably do chapter five, hopefully in the next couple weeks. Hopefully it will not be as hard, but if this is any indicator on uh, the difficulty that this game is going to start bringing as we get into later chapters, we still have a full expansion to explore too. So that's quite frightening, but um, that's like I said, pretty much going to wrap it up for me. Uh, let me know um, what you think. I will uh, I'll post something else probably pretty soon and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Much love.